This is form 3 mathematics, topic 2, approximation and errors. So today we are handling lesson 2 and that is absolute error, relative error and percentage error. So we will use this question to guide us. Calculate the percentage errors in the following measurements. So part A we have 8 centimeters. So just before we solve this, I want us to look at this in summary. Absolute error is usually the absolute value of half the least unit of measurement. And Next, we also need to know the relative error, which is absolute error all over the actual value. And then finally, percentage error, which is the relative error times 100. So back to our problem. We are going to calculate the percentage error in the measurement 8 centimeters. So when you're using measuring instruments, each and every instrument uh, is likely to have a level of accuracy. And the accuracy of that instrument would determine how the values are recorded or rather the readings from that instrument. So for example, 8 centimeters has been recorded to some level of accuracy. And for this case, it is expressed to the nearest whole number, that is to the nearest centimeter, so that the least unit of measurement is 1 centimeter. And then from here, we can therefore get the absolute error, which is the absolute value of a half the least unit of measurement, which is 1. So that should give us 0 0.5. Now, proceeding on to the relative error. Remember, we are in the journey of determining the percentage error. So that, as we had said earlier on, we first of all need to determine the absolute error and then the relative error will follow, and then finally the percentage error. So in that order, we've now looked at the absolute error. Next, we are looking at the relative error. And the relative error is absolute error all over the actual value, of which in this case we have 0 0.5 all over 8. So our value here is 8 centimeters. So the relative error when that is worked out is 1 over 16. And then finally, we can now get the percentage error. And that is relative error 1 over 16 times 100. So that should give us 6.25 percent. So in the next question, we have part B, where we are supposed to be determining the percentage error in 2.5, uh, or rather 2.45 kilograms. So we proceed as follows. First of all, we will have to get the least unit of measurement. And the least unit of measurement here is 0 0.01. Remember that for 2.45, the level of accuracy in this recording is to two decimal places, so that we have 0 0.01 as the least unit of measurement. So having the least unit of measurement, we can therefore get the absolute error which is a half times
times the least unit of measurement 0 0.01 and of course we consider the absolute value and that should be 0 0.005 so the next thing in the procedure after getting absolute error is to determine the relative error and the relative error is absolute error over the actual value and for our case the absolute error we've determined as 0 0.005 over the actual value which is 2.45 and when you work out this we will have 0 0.00241 and from there, the next step is to calculate the percentage error. Now the percentage error, we know is the relative error times 100. So that is 0 0.002041 for the relative error times 100. And finally, we have 0 0.2041 percent at least to four significant figures so next uh, we have an exercise for you try to find the percentage error in this measurement 5.125 grams and see if your answer will be 0 0.009756 so that's it for today Thanks for watching. See you next time.